Spark break 911, what's the address of your emergency? Spark break 911, what's the address of your emergency? Spark break 911, what's the address of your emergency? I've always liked to work with people. Um, it's a little different because instead of in person, I'm working with people over the phone. I started here because I wanted to help somebody. I wanted to help my community. I grew up in Spartanburg County, uh, so really giving back to my hometown. I do like the 12-hour shift. Uh, the county has great benefits. I'm one of the people that is here because I want to be. I wanted to do something in emergency services. Once I came here, I absolutely loved it and knew this was where I belonged. Which store are they in front of? She'll call in if something else is wrong. Yeah. We are like a family here. Everybody that works here cares about Spartanburg. I love my team. Um, I love my coworkers who I work with, um, but also the people on the other side of the radio. You also form a bond with your responders, uh, whether they be fire, EMS, police. Are they still conscious this time? Okay, all right. Well, just keep firm pressure on the leg where they're bleeding from there, and we're going to try to control the bleeding. But nevertheless, I want you to know that EMS is on the way. We took, uh, on average daily for 2020, uh, 620 911 calls per day on average, a uh, total of 1,400 incoming and outgoing calls per day. Um, and we took about 229,000 911 calls in 2020. Locate for the detention center. Can you see the tag on the vehicle, sir? Lots of them are hang up calls that are accidental, and then your standard racks or somebody is. Uh, having a medical issue. What is your name? Okay, all right, and your phone number, ma'am? I kind of find this. Not sometimes at looking at it as a job, but just something is, is I love to do, and I'm getting paid to do it. There's one right there, this is a live call. It's part of one was at your emergency. Okay, or I understand you're on the highway, are you on an Interstate 26 or Interstate 85? My day here is uh, manning radios, uh, taking 911 calls. We do both. It's all about multitasking, uh, having fun, and working together with your team. All right, eastbound or westbound? You headed towards Columbia or you headed towards uh, Asheville? What mile mark are you close to? Someone called in, maybe a bicycle stolen. Then you get a call, uh, it's been a shooting or a stabbing or not breathing or something like that. So it, you change gears constantly. It's always something different. You never know what you're walking into that day. You never know what you are going to answer when you answer that on one line. It's probably 911, what's the address of your emergency? Fast pace, always changing. It's very stressful at times. Um, people call us at the worst time of their lives and we send the best. Just let him rest in the most comfortable position away for help to arrive. And what's I want name? you to watch him very closely. If he becomes less awake and vomits, quickly lay him on his side. We are the first point of any emergency action. If we can't answer the phone, then you're going to have a hard time finding somebody unless you actually see an EMS or a fire department or uh, personnel from the, from the sheriff's office. If we're not here, then they're not there. You said your your house is on fire. Okay, what's your address, ma'am? Being 911, you're the first first responder, so you're getting all the critical information, passing it on to the responders, and sending them the appropriate resources that they need. If he gets worse in any way, call us back immediately for further instructions. We call ourselves the first first responders because you got the first responders being dispatched on the way, but what you want to do is as much as you can to help before they even get there. Because what you're doing, could it could be the difference between life and death as well. Is the fire out? Or do you know if it's still burning? Will someone try to put it out? Okay. Well, I still have the fire department on the way, ma'am. They'll check in and make sure, ma'am, and they should be there very shortly for you then, okay? I know that they're having a bad day, and my job is to be as cool and calm and collected and get the right agencies to them in the most uh, appropriate and quick manner. You learn to be very calm in stressful situations. Uh, you're sometimes talking to people on the worst day of their life, um, and you have to be the calm and the crazy. You say there's a shooting? What's the address, ma'am? Where are you? Where are you located? You have to be one in dealing with those calls to not allow it to affect you because once you're in that call and done everything that you've, you've been trained to do and could do for that person that's calling in, dispatched accordingly, then you got to move to the next call. We have a six to eight week training program that teach stress management and how to handle with stressful callers um, and emotional callers, how to calm them down. So we are the calm in the storm pretty much. Uh, we keep a calm voice and let them know that we are sending help to them. We'll get the police on the way out for you, okay? Okay, well I do have help on the way. And is that the patient talking to you? Okay, good, good. Knowing that when you come in, you have the opportunity on that particular shift, that particular day, to help someone. Like I say, again, no matter how big or small it may be, but just to help someone and knowing that you did all that you could. You're making a difference knowing you go home, you help somebody. All right, but you say the person that did the shooting, they are gone. Do you have direction of travel? All right, and what type of vehicle they were in? 
you go home at the end of the day uh, pretty beat up, but you know that if you did your job right, uh, people are better off because you did do it. Don't take things personally um, and just know that uh, people call you on their worst day and as long as you can make it a little bit better, then you've done a good job. I can honestly say this, and, it's, and, I, and I mean it too, I really mean it. You know you have days when you go into work and you dread going, I wish I hadn't had to go there. I haven't had that day yet. I look forward to coming, I, and, and people ask me, why are you so happy? Why are you coming so chipper every day and all that? I mean, I haven't had that day where I dread coming into work. I haven't had that day yet. Okay. You already hear the sirens? Okay. All right, they should be pulling up with you momentarily then, okay? All right, I'm going to let you go, ma'am, and just keep, keep pressure on that, on that injury there, okay? All right, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Yeah.